Hi, my name is Mr. Sharp King, author of The Chicken's Guide to Having Women Bake for You and creator and owner of ChooseYourRelationships.com. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why women leave men. Why do women leave men? And this is a very important topic. And it's something that most people never really talk about, or and some guys never really figure it out. But let me give you a scenario. You might have, you might meet a woman, and y'all might hit it off. I might have good energy. Y'all might have a good time. She, I mean, she might give you a lot of great feedback. Y'all might, might even slept together a couple times, and all of a sudden she just cuts you off. And you, you, she doesn't answer your phone calls anymore. Um, she, you don't see her anymore. Um, she just completely, uh, she completely shut, shut you down. You don't really know what to think. And I'm going to give you another scenario. The other scenario is um, you might have met a woman on the first date. And y'all might have really hit it off. You might have, uh, you might think y'all got a good vibe going on. And y'all might be making plans for the next day. And when you leave, that's the last time you, you end up seeing her. You never see her again. Even though y'all made plans, she said that everything was going great. She had a good time. But that's the end of that day. Never see her again. Third scenario is you might have hit it off with a woman. Y'all might actually be in a relationship this time, right? And you think they're progressing. Y'all went, y'all spending lots of time together. You, you talk on the phone. You, uh, you go on a vacation. Y'all meet each other's friends, or vice versa. Uh, y'all have a lot in common. You guys are making plans for the future. And all of a sudden, she starts talking like, uh, well, you know, I need to work on myself, I have my own issues, I just need some time to work on myself. She said, then she goes on to say, it's not you, it's me, right? And then a couple weeks or probably two weeks later, after y'all take some time apart, she ends up with another guy, hits it off with him, moves much faster, making much more progress with the other guy than she ever did with you, right? Then she even might even take a, take it to the next level and might even get married to the guy, right? And you know what? Those three scenarios have happened to me. You know, those three scenarios have happened to me. And it's probably happened to you, and it's probably happened to someone that, that you that you know to this day and the problem the, the the problem is um you know at the end of the day um i'm gonna tell you what women don't want women don't want guys that don't stand for something that don't have a backbone they don't want guys that are pushovers you have to stand for something you have to stand out or just don't bother you know, you can't play the neutral ground. You, you can't, you can't uh, uh, serve two masters, as they say. You know, it's, uh, you, you just got to be comfortable within your own skin. And you have to stand for something and, and make it known to the woman, any women that you might be involved with, whether it's long term or short term. And the second thing is, is you can't you, you you have to be you have to have knowledge of self you have to know who you are at, at 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 a core you know you have to you can't be afraid of being who you are and showing who you are and the good news is no one can beat you at being yourself right so and the last one is is you have to have goals you have to basically you have to create your own life you have to have some shit going on in your life and give people a reason why they should stay around you because see average don't work 
I'm going to say that again. Average don't work. You can't be an average guy. You can't be you can't just go to work every day and just be happy with that. Not saying anything is wrong with, with going to work every day, but you have to strive to be the best in your field, in your profession. And you have to kind of always um, looking to be a better version of who you already are as a person. I'm not saying you have to be different. I'm saying you have to be a better version of yourself. And you have to always uh, seek for some type of transformation. I didn't say change. See, change is short term. Transformation is a is is like a, a forever, right? So you have to have goals. So the main reason why a lot of women, uh, you know, they leave men is because it's it's all about attraction. It's all about our habits because you know we're creatures of habits. We we pretty much most average person do the same shit forever. I mean, I mean, if you go back to your high school, uh, like classmates that you graduated graduated with, or your um, college um, uh, students that you graduated with, they're doing the same shit. They're dressed the same. They look the same. They drink the same. They eat the same. They talk to the same women. They talk to the same guys. I mean, they go to the same places. They drive the same types of cars. Um, they, most people don't change very much. They're doing the same shit for, for, the, for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. They're doing the same shit. You know, most people don't change very much. And that's part of the problem. See, you always have to be progressing. You always have to be seek to be more of who you already are as a person and that's very attractive because you if you're always seeking to get better that's going to build your character by default and that's gonna enhance your personality that's gonna make you feel magnetic to women and that's what that's what i call the magnetic personality and this is something that we've been conditioned not to do, you know, because we look at the television, we look at, uh, you know, there's, there's advertisement everywhere. It's on the highway, you got billboards, TV, you got cell phone going off, you got email, you got YouTube, you got, you know, there's all kinds of distractions. So it's very hard for most the average person to focus but you have to you have to create your own lifestyle you have to create your own world and you have to get people involved your friends your family you know i mean you can even get your girlfriend involved if or your wife if, if they're willing to do it or they're willing to get involved but you have to give people a reason to want to stay around you. Because most people are bored. Most people are intellectually lazy. You know, so they're secretly looking for somebody with something brand new. Because most people are always looking for something that's brand new all the time. Because they've been conditioned to be that way. So you just have to give people a reason to stay around you. And they're not going to stay around you if you're bored. You know? That's just how it is. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying it's right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm just telling you how it is. And that's why most women leave guys. And most guys don't really understand this and they don't really get it. And they probably won't ever get it. And I write about this in my book. It called A, A Chicken's Guide to Having Women Beg for You, Sex, Lust, and Lies that can be found on Amazon. And I write about this in great detail. So uh, if you like what you heard in this video and you wanna work with me directly, go to chooseyourrelationships.com and click on the coaching session tab 
and click the option that's best for you. And feel free to leave your comments at the bottom of this video. So until next time, my name is Mr. Sharp Game. Peace and love.